we came into these negotiations understanding that uh, the landscape across the game has changed and that more young players more than ever have, are in the game and producing at high levels than we've ever seen before. Uh, we, we as players wanted to address that and obviously raise uh, their level of compensation up uh, relative to league revenues um, so that that better reflected that uh, compensation level. And so uh, as we navigated through the process, uh, we still feel that there's uh, dollars to be allocated towards them that would fairly compensate their uh, contributions on the field uh, more so than what's on the table at this point. And, uh, as players, we recognize that and continue to fight for those guys that it's not about Andrew or, or me and the free agent level, that uh, it's us as the, as the free agents looking backwards and realize, realizing that we need to allocate more of those resources to them. And talking to all the guys over here and understanding that we were fighting together as one, we all understood uh, the problems that were within the game that needed to be corrected. Uh, and together, we all together believed in what we were fighting for and all the way to the end here of making sure that everybody understood what we were trying to accomplish and that everybody wanted to accomplish the same goals for everybody. Of seeing things that have happened over the course, specifically of this last CBA, of things that have happened to different players that has out, made us outraged in, in certain situations that we absolutely have to have corrections and, and, and that's why uh, we feel necessary to be able to continue this fight. Obviously a 14 team postseason meant more money towards the players and I understand the competitive issue wasn't the money maybe worth the two teams, considering all the economic issues at hand? Well, it really became down to a format issue. Uh, in a 14-team in a playoff structure, uh, we felt like competition uh, could be eroded in, in that scenario. And uh, we had specific examples of different players who spoke up uh, that highlighted that specifically uh, at, for that reason. And uh, through the, you know, working with the, the economists, you know, on the union staff, you know, we felt like we had devised a format that would incentivize division, not, you, would, you would incentivize uh, competition throughout all the seeds and especially for division winners. And that was very, very important to us because when we play 162 games, when you're out there, and I know we're all trying to win that division. I mean, that's such an important piece to this uh, when, we're, we're, when we're out there playing the games to, that, that, to have that remain true. Uh, if that piece wasn't in the puzzle in the 14 team, 14 team uh, playoff structure, uh, we didn't see the, the necessary, that home field advantage, uh, solely home field advantage was gonna be uh, the necessary piece to try to go out there and win your division. Um, and so for that reason, that's why a 12 team, uh, 12 team, 12 team uh, format uh, made more sense to us. The, the buy for the division winners wasn't an incentive enough? But then continuing on from, from those division winners down, uh, we didn't see the uh, proper incentive for those other two division winners. Yeah. How important was the uh, luxury tax threshold? You know, in the sense when you play for the Nationals, big payroll, Detroit, you know, Dodgers last year, and, and now the Mets. How big of an issue is this for you, know, you and Andrew as far as uh, free agency? Well, we look at the, the competitive ba balance tax as a breakaway spending mechanism. That's how this thing was originally negotiated when you look at the history of, the, of, of baseball here and, and our labor. Um, we're not seeing that function as breakaway spending. We're seeing it act as a salary cap. And no other way can be, can be shown uh, point blank and simple than the San Diego Padres having a higher payroll than the New York Yankees. If you don't want to get benched this season, don't strike out. Hit that like button, swing at the subscribe button, and hit a home run on that notification bell. Thank you for watching the Improbable Podcast. Have a probably awesome rest of your day.